This guy can probably give you a crash course in pop culture. <laughs> Today we are looking at Crash Bar. Released in 2023's Legacy Evolution line, this deluxe class figure is a brand new addition to the, until now, underrepresented Junkions. He also represents Legacy's take on the weaponizer system, but we'll get more into that later. In robot mode, this guy looks great. Lots of wonderful molded and color detail, recreating the rusty Junkion look. His asymmetrical look also conveys the idea that this guy is made out of mismatching pieces of junk. Very appropriate if you ask me. Articulation wise, he's got everything you expect from a modern deluxe figure. Lots of universal hinges and swivels for plenty of posing and action. He can even rotate his wrists around. And finally, he's designed to be taken apart and put back together easily to make weird weapons and vehicle modes. For accessories, he has a pair of gravity cannons that can be handheld or placed in various ways on 5mm ports. He also has a pair of tailpipes that can be attached anywhere a port allows, though these are more decoration than weapon, I suppose. Unlike past weaponizer style bots, this guy and the other Junkions can transform without total parts forming. While it might have been thematically appropriate, this is probably for the best. We also have a pretty nice transformation sequence from this. I'm not sure I've seen very many who work like this. Anyway, once you've completed everything, we have him in his motorcycle form. This looks pretty good and carries over the rusty colors we saw before, but with Tan being a bit more dominant this time around. I don't know much about bikes, so I can't say if this is a good representation of one, but it feels like a good one to me. I do wish the wheels turned a little more freely and that the handlebars would turn the front wheel, but I can understand why that is for the way it transforms. A pair of undocumented things, if you want, you can fold back his foot to change the shape of the back a little bit, and interestingly enough, you can pull out some blades from his rear tire. It isn't anywhere on the instructions, I think, and it doesn't really work in either form. I guess that's mostly for some fanciful combined form? I don't know. Overall, I dig this guy, and I am so happy I was able to get my hands on one. 